Good morning class 2 take out your science books page number 74 today we are going to read about water Sources of water Water is a precious natural resource All living things need water for their survival to live and grow Uses of water We use water for many things such as drinking, cooking, bathing, cleaning, washing, brushing our teeth and gardening. Water is also used for agricultural purpose and industrial purpose as well. Where does the water come from? Now we will learn about the sources of water. There are mainly three sources of water, rainwater, groundwater and surface water. Rainwater Rain is the main source of water. It deposits most of the fresh water on the earth. Surface water It is the water that we see above the ground, such as rivers, lakes, Ponds, streams, sea and oceans. Surface water shall be consumed only after it has been properly filtered and disinfected. Groundwater during the rains, some water seeps into the ground, which is called underground water. It's the water present beneath the earth's surface. Groundwater can be consumed using wells, tube wells, and hand pumps. Water from all these sources reach our house through a tap. Water from rivers, lakes and ponds is clean and stored in tanks at water plants. This stored water is sent to homes through pipes. We also build reservoirs to store water. Water from rivers and wells is not always clean. We use soap and detergent to wash ourselves, our clothes, dishes and other things. Factories also use water. This dirty water flows back into the waterways which can be harmful for animals and plants. Saving water is important. Since we know that we need water so much in our lives. We should not waste it. If water is not used carefully, we will face a shortage. Many places in the world do not have enough water for their daily needs. What can you do to save water? Saving water is as easy as turning off a tap. Here are some simple things you can do at home to save water. Number 1. Do not keep the water running while you are brushing your teeth or washing your hands. Number 2. Take shorter showers. Number 3. Ask your parents to fix dripping taps. These can waste 
several buckets of water every day. Number four, reuse the water that is used for washing fruits and vegetables to water the plants in your home. Which word is this? Reservoirs. Reservoir. And the meaning of the reservoir? A large natural artificial lake used as a source of water supply. Now, page number 75, choose the correct answer. Number 1, which of the following is not a way to store water? A. Reservoir B. Paper bag C. Bucket D. Bottle The correct answer is B. Paper bag Number 2, which of these is not a form of water can take? A. Snowflake B. Ice cube C. Rain D. Salt D. Salt is correct answer. Number 3. Which of these things need water to survive? A. Trees B. Humans 3. Fish D. All of these The correct answer is D. All of these Number 4. Which one of these statements is correct? A. Lakes carry water to the seas and oceans B. Lakes and ponds carry salt to the seas and oceans. C. Rivers flow to the seas and oceans. D. Seas and oceans flow up rivers. C is the correct answer. Rivers flow to the seas and oceans. Number 5. Which of these is not a way to get water from underground? A. Spring B. Well C. Pump D. Canal Number D is the correct answer. Canal Number 2. Choose the right word to complete this sentences. Number 1. We block flowing rivers with A. Canals B. Dams C. Wells The correct answer is Dams Two, water comes to the surface in some places at a natural A. Pump B. Tank C. Spring The correct answer is Spring Number 3 Rain water sometimes dash into the earth A. Streams B. Evaporates C. Sinks C is the correct answer Sinks Number 4 C. Water is dash. A. Salty. B. Fresh. C. Green. A. C. Water is salty. Girls, I have done number one for you and the rest of the exercise you do it yourself. Thank you.